Hi everybody, today we're here with Brinley and she wants to read The Ugly Duckling. This one is AR testable. We took an AR test on it, didn't we? Yes. Okay. The Ugly Duckling. It was a beautiful summer day. The sun was shining down on an old house surrounded by a moat. Bushes, reeds, and flowers grew by the water's edge. In the shade of some big leaves, a duck was sitting on her nest, waiting for her eggs to hatch. It was taking a very long time, but finally, one after another, the eggs crackled and came out, the, and out came the ducklings. Only the biggest egg still lay there. The mother duck settled down again and waited for it to hatch. Ooh. At last, the big egg cracked open. The mother duck looked at the new duckling and thought, how big and ugly he is. He doesn't look like any of the others. Perhaps he is a turkey chick and is afraid of water. I'll take him to the moat and see if he can swim. He oh can. my goodness. <laughs> the mother duck and her ducklings jumped right into the water. One duckling after another followed her. Even the ugly duckling jumped in eagerly. So he isn't a turkey chick after all, said mother duck, relieved. It is my own child. Actually, now that I look at him again, he isn't ugly at all. Feeling contented, she led her ducklings to a farm nearby. But when they reached the farmyards, the other birds began to ridicule the ugly duckling. They pushed him, pecked him, and chased him around the farmyard. Even the duckling's brothers and sisters were unkind to him. Finally, the mother duck cried, Oh, if only you were far away from here. Poor duck. Yep. So the ugly duckling ran away. He flapped over the fence, startling all the birds in the bushes who then flew off. That is because I'm so ugly, thought the duckling. He ran on until he reached the wide marsh where the wild ducks lived. There he lay, trembling, the whole night long. At sunrise, the wild ducks found him. How ugly you are, they quacked. But we don't care as long as you stay out of our way. Oh, man, poor little guy. The duckling was lonely and frightened in the marsh. After a few days, a fearsome dog appeared and bounded up the duckling. The duckling was terrified, but the dog turned around and ran off without harming him. How lucky, thought the duckling. I look so ugly that even a dog doesn't want to eat me. He's so cute, though. Yeah, he looks like her mother. Yeah. The duckling rushed away across the marsh as fast as he could. At the edge of the marsh, he came to a tumbled-down cottage. Hey, wait, there's a fox and there's a kitty. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's a frog down there. See it? Oh. The duckling slipped through a crack in the door. There he saw an old woman sitting by the fire with her cat and her hen. They allowed the duckling to stay for a while, but only at the back of the room. Now I will get some duck eggs, said the old woman, but the duckling didn't lay eggs. He sat sadly in the corner and dreamed of warm sunshine and swimming. Shunned by the cat and the hen, he went out into the world once more. Eventually, he came to a lake where he could swim and dive. One autumn evening, just as the sun was setting, a beautiful group of birds flew by. They were dazzling white with long necks. They were swans. Although the duckling didn't know that, they thrilled him. He had never seen such beautiful birds. They look like They do look like him, huh? Yeah. Winter came, and it was bitterly cold. It would be very sad to describe all the misery the duckling had suffered that long, harsh winter. He's grown now. Yeah, he's an adult. Wait, that's Izzy Swan. Mm-hmm. I think he is a swan. Yeah. Then one day, the warm sun shone again. It was spring. The duckling spread his wings and flew away from the dikes and the marshes and came to a lake. There he saw three swans gliding majestically over the water. I will fly to those beautiful birds, he said. They may peck me to death because I am so ugly, but it doesn't matter. So the duckling glided down onto the water and swam toward the He's swans. He's a swan. Yes, he is. Yep. That one, he was so ugly. Mm -hmm. The duckling bowed his head over the water, expecting to be killed. But what did he see in the water? He saw his own reflection. No longer an ugly duckling, but a beautiful swan. The other swans swam round him and stroked him lovingly with their beaks. What does it matter where one is born if one has been hatched from a swan's egg? He remembered all the pain and misery that he had suffered, but now everything had changed. He raised his long slender neck and trumpeted. I never dreamed of so much happiness when Wait, I was wretched and ugly duckling. Which one is he? I don't know. I think that's him over there. I think that's him, yeah. The end. And that's the ugly duckling. And again, this one's AR testable. You can go take your AR test real quick. It's uh, 0 0.5 points, a half a point, And it's like five questions, super easy.
Go take your test. Good luck. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>